Elizabeth Bathory, often referred to as the Blood Countess or the Bloody Lady of Cactus, is one of history's most enigmatic and notorious figures. Born into Hungarian nobility in 1560, she is infamous for her alleged sadistic and gruesome crimes, which led to her becoming one of the world's most prolific female serial killers. However, Elizabeth Bathory's life is shrouded in mystery and controversy, with debates persisting about the extent of her crimes and the motivations behind them. In this episode, we will delve into the life, legend, and legacy of Elizabeth Bathory, seeking to separate fact from fiction and explore the enduring fascination with her story. Early Life and Noble Heritage Elizabeth Bathory was born on August 7, 1560, into the illustrious Bathory family, which was one of the most powerful and influential noble families in Hungary at the time. Her birthplace was the Exed Castle, located in the Kingdom of Hungary, which was part of the Habsburg Empire. She was the daughter of Baron George VI Bathory and Baroness Anna Bathory. Growing up, Elizabeth was exposed to the privileges and responsibilities of aristocracy. Her family's status meant that she received an education typical of her social class, which included learning to read and write in Latin, German, and Hungarian. Elizabeth's childhood was marked by a complex blend of luxury and familial expectations, setting the stage for the events that would unfold later in her life. Marriage and Castle Chiete At the age of 15, Elizabeth Bathory was married to Count Ferenc Nadesti, a Hungarian nobleman renowned for his military exploits. Their union was not only a political alliance, but also a joining of two powerful families, further consolidating their influence in the region. The Nadesti family owned several estates, including Shade Castle, where the couple would reside for a significant part of their married life. It was at Sate Castle that the rumours of Elizabeth Bathory's horrific actions began to circulate. Her husband's frequent military campaigns often took him away from home, leaving her to manage their estates. It is during this period that allegations of her sadistic and brutal behaviour towards her servants and young girls in the surrounding villages started to emerge. The Allegations and Accusations the accusations against Elizabeth Bathory were nothing short of shocking. It was alleged that she, along with several accomplices, had systematically tortured and murdered young girls. The motives ascribed to her varied from sadistic pleasure to beliefs in dark rituals and the pursuit of eternal youth. Some claimed that she bathed in the blood of virgins, believing it would preserve her beauty and vitality. The exact number of victims attributed to Elizabeth Bathory is a matter of considerable debate. Contemporary accounts and testimonies during her trial suggest that the number may have reached several hundred, making her one of history's most prolific serial killers. However, it is crucial to recognize that much of the evidence against her came from questionable sources, including confessions extracted through torture and hearsay. Arrest and Trial In December 1610, Elizabeth's actions finally caught the attention of the authorities. The Hungarian king, Matthias Sassen, ordered an investigation into the allegations of murder and sadism. The investigation led to the arrest of Elizabeth Bathory, her servants and accomplices. The trial that followed was a highly sensationalized affair. Elizabeth's status as an aristocrat complicated the legal proceedings. The authorities could not easily bring her to justice, given her family's influence and connections. As a result, rather than facing the death penalty that a common criminal might receive, she was placed under house arrest in her castle. Her accomplices, however, faced more severe punishments, including execution. Death and Legacy Elizabeth Bathory died on August 21, 1614, while still under house arrest at Shater Castle. Her exact cause of death remains unclear, with some accounts suggesting suicide, while others claim natural causes. 
Regardless of the circumstances of her death, her legacy endured and evolved over the centuries. The legend of Elizabeth Bathory has been the subject of numerous books, movies, and works of fiction. She has become a symbol of female depravity and cruelty, inspiring countless adaptations of her story in various forms of media. From novels like The Countess by Rebecca Johns to films like The Countess, 2009, directed by Julie Delpy, her life and alleged crimes have continued to captivate the public imagination. Separating Fact from Fiction the enduring fascination with Elizabeth Bathory's story raises an important question. How much of the legend is based on historical fact and how much is the product of sensationalism and myth? Firstly, it is essential to acknowledge that many of the accounts of Elizabeth's actions were written decades, if not centuries, 